What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. I've been meaning to make this video for you guys for quite some time now. If you haven't figured it out already, I'm here to tell you right now that my car is a vinyl wrap. My car has been vinyl wrapped Hot Rod Red 3M vinyl film. And over the years, I've gotten many questions about the vinyl wrap. So I'm making this video to address all those questions I've gotten and to let you know that it's not all sunshine and rainbows over here. Some people really believe that having a rap car is the best thing ever and it's the coolest thing ever and they don't really understand what really comes with that territory. So I'm here to expose the dark truth behind living with and daily a vinyl wrapped car for two years straight. Stay tuned. So first and foremost, let me give you a quick walk around and we'll address what's been happening here. So over here, you can clearly see I've got a bit of damage. Now nobody ever notices any of this stuff until I point it out up close and personal. Here we have some air bubbles from the wrap bubbling up, heating it up in the air, just trying to escape big little bubbles. Here you can see small little rips in the film. You know, it's the front of the car. This car gets hit with bugs, as you can tell, daily driven. It gets hit with little stones and pebbles and rocks and stuff that flies up. When I say daily driven, I really mean that. Like, look, you remember my last video? I destroyed the bottom of the lip. It's daily driven. It's not a garage key. Now here, we have some more damage. Let me show you this. As you can see here, damage went through the film. I went through my paint. You can even see some of the actual material. We got through the black paint and through the film and everything. Thankfully, the headlights are safe. So I'll take that any day. I'll take this. I'll take that. And I'll definitely take that over damaged headlights the story behind that is i was merging onto the highway and in the right lane ahead of me that was already on the highway was a benz a gls the big family suv he runs over a piece of wood which splinters off and as soon as i merge onto the highway behind him boom i get that and i get one of these let's make our way around now maybe it doesn't come across on camera but i think it does Kind of, kind of hard to tell but uh there's a nice little scratch on the film here there's another one here i can trace it with my finger yeah you can kind of see it on camera it's more noticeable if i point it out in person maybe not as much on in the video or in the picture at all i first noticed that those two scratches on the film after i got my car back from bnw bayside so whatever careless tech you guys had over there yeah thanks a lot for that appreciate you Let's see what else we got going on. You can see the film was starting to lift off of the handle here. You can see it lifting. Now let's look at the creases. Now, this is a really good job when you look at it. It's very clean. They were not lazy, very professional. And by the way, I don't know if you can still see it now, but this right here, this little ding, I did that within the first like two days of having a vinyl wrap car uh, when I swung open the door and I hit the fence in my yard. So that was all me. That was my first taste. You know, like if something's too perfect, it's like you're tempting faith. So it was probably for the best I did that on my own before faith gave me some real problems. Here you can see it's a very clean cut job how they did it. So shout out to exclusive vinyl who did the wrap. It was set up through their partners at Waterworks, which is a detailing shop that I went to to originally set all the stuff up. Let's work our way to the back here. Of course, the car's dirty. You can't really tell. But there's definitely some swirls in there. That's on me for, you know, washing the car how I washed it. And yeah, it's a daily driven car. It's gonna happen. So allow me to show you now. So here you can see the wrap. See how they do it? It's two separate pieces of film. These are things the average person doesn't really know about or notices until you start cleaning your car and washing it and really paying attention. So that's pretty cool how it's done. You can see where they cut the wrap off the ads. Like obviously they're not gonna wrap it here. That's just ridiculous to wrap. We see under here, you can kind of see it's a clean cut job how they did it. You can clearly see how it's done. There's another seam right there. And that's two pieces of film joint in order to get over the curves of the car and all the jagged edges. 
so making our way along the sides now i would definitely want to show you guys this so when you have a passenger princess that likes to get her nails done and keep it a little longer than the average girl you're gonna get a bunch of little scratches in the door handle here as you can tell over the two years i've had this car a few different passenger princesses and some of them are really into the long nail thing so yeah just that's gonna happen just a heads up it's the cost of doing business and of course how could i forget the hood you can never forget the hood so you can see all the imperfections here we've got this scratched up i've got more right there hard to tell on camera but i'll notice all this stuff is i'm pretty much responsible for the majority of the damage to the wrap here there's certain things like bird shit that's really gonna destroy your wrap if you don't clean it right away now i absolutely want to address a few questions i've always gotten about the wrap first and foremost i'm always asked how much did it cost bro like i was thinking about doing it but what does it cost like i have no idea what's a good price what's a bad price like how do i tell basically what did it cost me truthfully it cost me three thousand five hundred dollars thirty five hundred that included the vinyl wrap film putting it on everything for the whole car and you look at the size of this car it's a good size car it's not a executive sedan it's not a five series it's not an e-class it's not a limo it's not a compact little like cla either solid standard size car so 3500 now with that it included being ceramic coated the whole car was ceramic coated now the ceramic coat only lasted a few months because the idea was i would keep coming back to get another ceramic coating but i'm not that kind of guy i'm not that car guy some people are more into that where they'll just keep their car like perfect all year if you couldn't tell i'll tell you right now i'm the kind of guy Yes, I might have nice things and I work hard for them, but I also put them to use, as you can tell by my daily kicks here. So yeah, I tend to piss people off by having nice things and actually using it and not babying it forever. So yeah, I didn't really ceramic coat it after it was included the first time. I never went back to get it to keep up with the ceramic coating. Because the one they used is good. It was nice. They have different lifespans. The one they gave me was for a couple months. Now, when the car was freshly just wrapped two years ago and ceramic coated, it was very red and glossy and beautiful and perfect. So now after two years of dailying it now in the Northeast here, up in NYC, I go through every season. The summers are hot, the winters are cold. You get snow, you get rain, you get salt on the roads. And this is my daily car, it's been through a lot. Remember two years ago in August, when they had that hurricane that ended up flooding in New York City, which is crazy. I had water up to the hood, like up to about here. Thankfully, back then, I was not running any front-mounted intakes and cones. Otherwise, bye-bye. Goodbye to the engine. Goodbye to everything. Shit would have probably hydrolocked. It would have been over. I had my stock air boxes with the BMC on um, filters in there. Anyways, it's been through a flood. It's been through snow. There was that time where I learned about driving rear-wheel rear drive in the winter. And I was on the side of the road. I don't like to talk about that, though. So that's a story for another day. So it's been through a few ups and downs and had a couple bruises. What was my question? My question was how much did it cost? 3,500. And that included the ceramic coating. And I believe Waterworks. So they did the ceramic coating after they sent it out to their partners and affiliates, exclusive vinyl to wrap it. And the little present they left me here, I don't know if you can read that. It says G Technic, G Technique. I believe that was a ceramic coating company that they used in the brand. Another very popular question I get is, yo, bro, why did you go with red? I mean, it's fire. It catches attention. I like it. Like, I tell them, like, that's pretty much it. That's that's literally it. And no, it's not because I'm some attention whore. I'll just dismiss the rumors there. I know I'm not an attention whore. I just want to address that. But no, honestly, two years ago when I first got it wrapped, a car was black, by the way, black sapphire metallic, which I do miss. I miss my black car. That's my headache. But you know, I know how black cars are. You got to keep them clean and they're dirty within 10 seconds. But yeah, that was my headache and I miss it. Anyways, I got it wrapped. You know, I don't think it was an impulsive decision because I was thinking about it for months. The idea was in my brain since I want to say January 2021. And I pulled the trigger and did it around May 2021, about four or five months later 
or maybe it was June. Basically, half a year later, I pulled the trigger. So it was festering. I was thinking about it. Why did I go with red? So I went with red because it kind of ties back into what I was going through, how I was feeling at the time. Like I was on a, and I still am. Don't get that twisted. I'm still on an upward trajectory. Trajectory. I've always been that, you know, that background player, tag along friend and follower, right? Go with the flow guy. I was just happy to be Lloyd Banks. You know what I mean? Just happy to be hanging around, just in the group, chilling, doing my thing. But the more I progressed in life and the more outgoing I became and talkative and just extroverted, yeah. Something about this just really attracted me. Red is just so bold, it's in your face. You can't ignore it. It's either you're gonna love me or you're gonna hate me. So now I'm no longer that background player. Like my mentality has shifted. I'm no longer Lloyd Banks. I'm moving like 50. At least that's how I was feeling. And I still be feeling like that to this day. Me rapping this car red was part of my growth and evolution as a person and being more outgoing and even just being able to do this and not feel like some awkward shy kid anymore. So the red was saying, hey, I'm here. Take it, love it or hate it. Ha, another 50 reference. Queens, right? You know, these Queens dudes, can't help it. We can't help it. Queens get the money. Next question, next question, next question, next question. Would I get another color? Was there a second choice? Would I change this color? Would I get something new in the future? So let me just dismiss the rumors. I'm about like 90% sure. 93% sure, 1993, like 93. So I'm 93% sure I'm not putting on a different rap or another rap. I miss my black card, that's my headache, I'm gonna get it back eventually. Eventually, you guys stay tuned to find out when. If I had a second choice, the only other color I'm thinking of is yellow. Cause yellow is just like so happy and mellow and it's like, you also can't ignore that color either. It's just, it's, you're gonna see it. You're always gonna turn your head and look, just like red. Except red is more bold and yellow is more, uh, puts you in a better mood. You know, it's more chill and you know, psychology says stuff like that. Yeah, look into it, look into psychology. It'll change your life. Anyways, back to my point. If I was to have done a different color or do a different color in the future, it would probably, it would probably, it would probably, it would probably be, it would probably be yellow and or small possibility of white. Cause I do love how these cars look when it's white with the red guts. White with the red guts looks amazing almost as good as black with the red guts which is my always my go-to my last car was black with red guts and so is this all of the trim and the accents really like accentuate that eventually when this rap does come off and you're gonna be there for that i'm gonna make sure i make another video too you'll see the reason why all these red accents are gonna pay off the red center caps the red from out of intakes and the cones and by that point, I'm going to just have to get the brake calibers powder coated, most likely red. But that's for a later time in the future when this wrap is eventually off and it's back to being a, a headache, a black car that gets dirty really fast with red guts and red trim. So how long will this wrap last? The idea I had going in that I researched and I was also told you can squeeze out anywhere from five to seven years out of these wraps. That's a nice selling point. The truth is, me living with it, me showing you all the damages and the stuff I've done to it, and that's happened to it. And by the way, it's a lot more orange looking now because it's been two years and the sun and the elements have really beat on this baby. So it's not as red as it was on day one. So let me just address that right away. Some people that I think I have an orange car. Maybe they're colorblind, I don't know. Maybe it really is orange, I'm colorblind. I'm the asshole, I'm the messed up one here. It's not as red as it was when I first got it. Now it's more like a fire, like red to orange-ish tone to it. Depending on how, how you see things, you might see it, you might not. It might still be red to you. To me, it's still red. It's like my favorite like shade of red. I love reds where you know it's red. It's not like a mix and it's not like maroon or like whatever. I like it fire, like in your face, like Ferrari, Hellrod Red. I saw a post on Beaver Post where a guy had a Hellrod Red M4 that thing was like the most perfect looking thing I've ever seen at the time. And I had to wrap my car. That's what really helped me pull the trigger. Back to the question, how long would it last? 
realistically, it's been two years and it's been through a lot and it's fine. This is my daily car. I think the idea when people say you can get five, six, seven years out of a wrap, when you think about it, people that get wraps who wrap their cars, they're wrapping a nice car and they usually have a daily. And even if it's not a nice car, it's like their project car and they still have a daily. So they don't have two years of wear and tear within two years. Most people with a wrap car will have, can really get that five, six, seven years out of the wrap because they're probably driving it on the weekends or only half of the time they have another car to do most of their majority of driving. My two years really are like two years of use and abuse. What it's meant for, we're not here to just baby these things. You gotta drive them and push them and have fun with them and live with it. You're not just gonna have this and just look at it forever. You gotta do something with it. Take it for a drive, use it. And just to wrap up this video, yeah, pun intended. Yeah, I, I say corny, funny dad jokes like that. Yes. To wrap up this video, let me give you the quick story of how I did this though. How I got all of this done. I was having some hookah. I was having a drink. I was just in the backyard cooling out. And I finally decided I'm gonna DM Waterworks. Very nice people. And I asked them about the wrap and the price and how long it would take. By the way, another question. It did take, it took about a week. I wanna say seven days, it could've been eight but they told me a week. So I dropped it off to them and I got my car back in a week. By the way, when I did get it back, they did advise that I don't drive fast for the first like week after getting the car back, which I don't really think I listened because right after I got the car back and I it was an open highway to go home and you know, it's, the road was actually smooth for once. But anyways, anyways, so that probably helped speed up the wear and tear by not listening. Because, yeah, anyways, they said they, the wrap had to, like, settle and really stick on there before you really push it. The high speeds are probably going to, you know, shift around the wrap. But anyways, back to the story. I DM'd them, asked about it. At that time, I was more likely to just get up and do stuff. I was less likely to sit down and be a follower. I said, you know, screw it. I'm going to go and be a leader and do my own thing. I pulled up on Thursday when I was off from work. And this was Tuesday night I DM'd them. So two days later, I go ahead, I pull up, I meet the guys, everything's cool, drop my keys off. At the time, you know, I had the BMW like subscription on the app, so I could see where the car was at. And you know how it is when the first time you're doing some shit like this and you don't know these people, but they're nice, but you still, you just don't know. So yeah, I would check in on the app later in the day and I saw the car move like 30 minutes north up to Exclusive Vinyl, the other company that wrapped it. When I checked out their Instagram, I had all the confidence in the world. Like I saw their gram and they're rapping McLarens, Ferraris, Porsches, G-Wagons, big dogs, Lambos and shit, big, you know, I felt like I am regular traffic to them people. So I had no concerns in the world once I saw that. And then Waterworks, Marcel at the time when he was working there, I think he moved to Texas. He would give me updates. He would send me pictures of like the rap progress and what's going on. So I had all the peace of mind in the world. So I really appreciated it. It was cool because you never really, I never drop my car off to anybody for more than a day or two at the dealer. Like nobody, I always have my car with me. It's never gonna be gone for a week straight like that generally, but yeah. So they made the process seamless. I appreciate that. So shout out to Waterworks for that. Keeping me updated is one thing I hate. Not to get too personal, but it's one thing I hate is being left in the dark. So I really did appreciate them giving me a heads up and letting me know what's going on and what do I think. And here we did this part so far and you know, that was very cool. And they didn't have to do that. And I love that they did that. So shout out to them. So I might've got off on a bit of a tangent there, but hey, I get passionate about these things and I love it. I love making content. I do need to wrap this up. Pun intended again. Yes, pun intended. So I love my vinyl wrap. I've enjoyed it. It's been two years. Will I get a third out of it? Possibly. Or will I just bring on back my, uh, my beautiful black sapphire metallic red guts M4, my baby? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Let's see, let's see how things go. Make sure you like and subscribe. I do appreciate all the support I'm getting. I love the traction and I love that we're building and this is beautiful and I want y'all to be here for the journey. Like and subscribe, stay tuned for more. I don't have an outro yet, but we're working on it. I need a line. And allow me to give you some bonus content if you're still here and I do appreciate the uh, support and you still being here watching the video. Do I have any regrets regarding the rap? Any regrets? I wanna say my biggest regret regarding the rap was not doing it sooner. I should have did it from day one. I'm my own person, I'm doing my own thing. I'm here, you're gonna see me. 
and you're going to love me or hate me. So my only regret was not doing it sooner. And I love it. 